Hey, it's me, Cynthia. I am she, and I am wearing my cozy cowl. I finally finished it, and it is awesome. I think I will add, what is going on here? Um, I will add an extra, um, I don't know how to say words. So, what do we have here? Let's break it down. In the original pattern um, from Mikey in, uh, I don't remember what anything is called. Yarn Land? Nope. Yarnspirations? Crochet Crowd video? Uh, he wanted us to make the neck 13 inches so it could be a turtleneck. Well, that didn't work for me. I showed a picture on Instagram. I've, I've deleted it from my phone. I can't even post it anymore. Um, 13 inches covered my entire head. So what I did was I pulled it out until um, I, I left the... I left it folded and I just kept pulling it out until it was a comfortable size for me. So a comfortable size for me is the size of my hand. So that's folded over. So it's half my hand. That's what works for, for me and my little weird neck. Um, other changes I made, uh, his, unless I'm remembering it incorrectly, his um, increases after the neck started at 16 or something like that. I started my increases at five. So in five increments, every fifth I increased instead of every 15th, I think he started up, I'm not sure, but um, I wanted it to get bigger faster, and 16 was just not doing it for me. So five was my magic number, and then uh, I don't know where I stopped increasing. I guess I stopped increasing. That's my San Andreas fault right there. That and yeah, I can't figure out where I stopped increasing. I guess I did that good a job. <laughs> there are birds just like dive bombing my yard right now, okay, because the apocalypse is coming. Ah, the apocalypse. As for the striping and color changes, I did it um, whenever I got sick of a color. <laughs> These birds are acting weird today. Whenever I got sick of a color, I just swatched it out, switched it out. So that's how that, that went. There was no rhyme or reason. I was just like, I don't want to do purple anymore. Let's switch to black. <sighs> and um, my last four rows, uh, I have the, <laughs> I, sw I swear, I, oh God, I swear I know English, um, pattern, it's not the waffle stitch, it might be the waffle stitch, I don't know, the basket weave, that is what that is, the basket weave, so I'm going to do a few more rows of this, because, Can you hear them? They're coming for me. See, they're dive bombing. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. Oh, maybe they're playing with Sarah and her sisters. Only um, one of the sunflowers, the brand new one, um, all the petals fell off the rest of them. But hers are secure enough because she was new. So she made it. Um, my two stocks down below did not make it. But Sarah and her sisters made it. So this is how it looks. And I made this to cover up my, uh, my big, it jiggles when I wiggle now. So 
That's why I made this in the first place. Let's let's take a better look at this. That. That. Oh, I worked very hard to get that so I wouldn't be so cold all the time. But I was hoping it would go like to my arms to keep my arms warm, but it didn't. It's just staying there. It's not even filling in my butt. It's doing well, I guess it is. These jeans, I usually, I used to have to wear a belt with them and I don't have to wear a belt anymore. So they're, and my thighs touch now. <laughs> they used to um, indent like, a, like Kate Moss. Yeah, um, they used to indent and now they extent and they touch. So there used to be a gap. I'm very excited. So now, um, even though I love this, I must keep it covered because it is not pleasing to the eye. But this is, this is, this sherry is, I love it. So today I'm wearing a purple shirt under it and I have perfect matching pants and perfectly matching skull socks and perfect, <laughs> perfectly matching converse. Oh, yeah, that's how my day is going. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to Home Depot. Why am I yelling? To get more dirt, because I have no dirt. I got this for a dollar at the, um, my Smith's. Yeah, isn't that cute? <gasps> and it matches my poncho. <laughs> um, I need dirt so I can make some oregano, tomatoes, and more sunflowers. I'm gonna make um, a few more pots of sunflowers because um, also I'll be using these containers as pots. I'm gonna get a uh, gesso at Walmart and I'm going to paint these cute little colors and put a whole holes in the bottom and these are going to be my potters. I mean, I have these tiny little things right here, but um, they only work for like two weeks and then the plant has to be replanted. So uh, yeah, I have a ton of potting stuff. I just don't have the dirt. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I went to Home Depot and Michael's, and I had to stop at Smith's and get dog food. But, well, seriously, the the only one I pulled out of the bag did not have a yarn label. Um, Burnett Blanket is in the, uh, the caking business now. <gasps> oh, I there were only eight of these of this colorway um, fruit punch. I'm sure they have more in the back. Um, I go to the Michaels on Deer Springs and the 215 in North Las Vegas. So you will not find any of the fruit punch in the Burnett blanket because I bought them all. But they had um, super awesome colors similar to like almost identical to um, the original Karen Cakes colorways. So they have them all in Burnett black now. And I'm thinking, does Burnett, does Karen own Burnett? I don't, I don't think so. Um, so I have eight of those. They were on sale for $8 each on sale. Not a great sale, but um, that is how it will work up. Mm -hmm. Burnett blanket stripes. I almost threw up when I saw that because my little sister Kathleen wants a blanket yarn blanket and the only real colors that have been available when I bought all of my Burnett blanket uh, was red, gray, black, gray and white, red and white, well, this ugly, terrible, ugly colors. So um, I never made her one. And now that they have these awesome colors, there are blues and mixed with white. I mean, they're just beautiful colors. So I'm gonna make her a blanket out of this 
and I'm confident that she'll never see this video, so she'll be surprised. All right, then um, a few days ago, I think I mentioned that I bought some mandala, but uh, I got this colorway, and this is the colorway of Genie. I got three of those so I can make a shawl. Well, I am very, 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 very excited about this blanket yarn. And uh, I literally finished this last night. Well, I'm gonna do another row of, or another four rows, but um, I can start working on her blanket now. And that makes my heart happy. I'm very, ah! uh, I wanna, I can't stop talking about it. Oh, also, so I'm gonna plant some radishes, Roma tomatoes, cucumbers, cause I love them so much, and cilantro. I don't understand how to, um, I don't understand, is it one seed per little container? Or do I just drop all of them in there? I guess I'll have to watch some YouTube videos. Not YouTube, my favorite group in the whole wide world. Um, YouTube videos. I've been following, um, like YouTube has been driving me nuts lately on Twitter. So not driving me like, Cynthia, ah, answer us. Uh, <laughs> they're tweeting a lot late, lately because it was 30 years for their, uh, um, I still haven't found what I'm looking for video that was shot here in Las Vegas. So, um, they, they've been very active on Twitter lately and Adam and, uh, Dave Evans, the edge have been taking lots of pictures of themselves. Bono and Larry Mullen, not so much Larry Mullen Jr. Uh, they don't do the selfies, but, uh, thankfully Adam and edge do. So thank you guys for that. And I don't think you'll ever see this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, me and my crazy brain. All right, so someday I have to like show you all my YouTube stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm gonna shut it down now. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything, and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye!